is called the woodpecker because it makes a pecking noise. Могла ли быть связь русского дятла и авария на Чернобыле такая? Я хочу узнать. И кто в этом виноват? Тот на них надавил и взрывается. Бухник говорит тебе, Гэру, говори, какая проблема. Какая проблема, что убить Сейчас я не для камеры. Я боюсь. Советская система зла. Как ты заметил, ведут в Москву. Это был придуманный. В этой трагедии должны быть свои причины. Hello everyone and welcome to today's talk. I have two very interesting guests in my talk today. It's uh, Fedir Alexandrovich and Chet uh, Gracia. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. Glad to be here. You both have uh, shot a really interesting documentary, The Russian Woodpecker. Uh, Chet, this is your first, this is your directorial debut, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. That's correct. And Ferrier, first time in a documentary, I assume, as well? Yeah, as character, yes. As, yes. as character, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, Chet, tell us how you found Ferrier and how this uh, project came together. Well, the whole project has been marked by serendipity from the start. I was working in Kiev on a play, uh, and Fyodor was our production designer costume, light, and sets. And from the very beginning of our rehearsals, he kept whispering into my ear about a Russian woodpecker. Russian woodpecker, you have to come with me. It's near Chernobyl and check out this woodpecker. I really thought that he wanted me to go to a zoo or an aviary or into a nature preserve. But um, eventually I realized that the Russian woodpecker was a secret Soviet signal that irradiated the world during the Cold War. So then I thought, okay, let's let's check it out. We'll do a short film and see where But it Fyodor takes us. said, it doesn't matter. We must go there because I feel that there's some secret here, that there's some connection with this antenna and the tragedy that happened when he was four years old, Chernobyl, which irradiated him and caused a lot of tragedy and trauma. In, in it his has the story of life. Fyodor's life and the life of his ancestors and how they suffered under the Soviet Union. And it has a dream sequence Fyodor refused to take part in a traditional documentary where we interviewed scientists and colonels and generals. He said, Chad, this is not how we will find the truth. In my country, they will all lie. These are all Soviet people. Mm -hmm. The way we will find the truth is to follow a dream that I had. And in my dream, I built a raft, a boat out of mirrors, and I sailed it across a radioactive sea. And I was naked with a torch. And I thought, this is crazy. And I don't have this a Is this a real dream or that was a This is a dream that's that a he dream. had. Okay. And, and he said, that's how we'll find the truth. If we recreate my dreams about this, this, this trauma. And I, as a sort of scientific and uh, looking at my budget and thinking, I thought, I can't do this in five minutes and, and in a long week. But we made a deal. I said, I will film your dreams if you will come and interview the scientists. Okay. And when I started to see the, the dreams, they were so beautiful and so surreal. And I realized they gave us an insight into the mind of this artist. And when he saw the scientists and he saw their hands shaking when he asked sensitive questions, and when he saw that they were clearly lying about this antenna, he got interested in my approach. So our two parallel investigations Fyodor, come together. <clears throat> Tell us about your, your, your childhood and, and a little bit, and also about how you came up with the theory, like what 
and end the dream. Yeah, that is in the time of uh, of uh, sh sh of sh make this movie, but it's the time uh, I I don't uh, believe in this theory. That is interesting for me. Uh, make the film about a way to the dark tower, the the um, disaster uh, disaster land that is Chernobyl catastrophe, the metaphor of Iron Curtain. And after chat, yes, it's the first interview. I I I I ask that is maybe maybe connecting between um, Duga and Chernobyl. It's money that is the lost money and corruption. And when I uh, I uh, I uh, ask this question, I see the hand uh, and uh, general and uh, Soviet weapon begin begin shutting, and he begin speaking about us. He help the humanity. As I help the humanity in this, in this, in this, and I I don't use that. Uh, if a man speak as help humanity, that is crime man. <laughs> He's a, a All criminal. All the time, yes, that is criminal. And uh, uh, in the time of as investigation, we have more a lot of uh, version, many version. That is different version. It's uh, maybe CIA poisoned this uh, Chernobyl uh, Chernobyl station. It's maybe, but when we begin as investigation have more people help us uh, in archive uh, more historical people and uh, found this name and found mo motive we found only w only one new fact all c all government commission soviet commission and ukraine commission head of commission in us film speak yes that is crime but we have a crime but we have not motive and not as film have only one new answer who have a motive of this crime can this crime make and have the motive that is only one answer in this film and uh, only only one new answer but uh, this answer explain uh, failing of soviet union and returning the soviet union now so beginning of returning so after